One of footy's biggest characters ever. Jane Crawford strolling in the goal. What a lift this would be for the Hawks. Yes. Shane Crawford is three weeks into his new career on the stage as the Pharaoh and Joseph and in the amazing Technicolor dream coat. A role change. Yeah, a bit of a role change. <laughs> he's playing at the Regent Theatre. Uh, let's find out how he's doing. He joins us now. Croft, good morning, mate. How are you? Good morning. Yeah, it's a massive change, isn't it? But uh, I'm loving it. There's very much a team environment or team feel about it. And um, yeah, it's, uh, I, I do say that it's very different conversations to the the footy shed yeah, yeah. To, uh, to hang out with the crew from Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, but yeah. absolutely loving it. But because it is a team event, like you just said there, Croft, are you also drawing similarities to playing with the Hawks? Has it got a similar feel at times? Well, like everyone, is so professional and so focused, so uh, you've got to treat treat it like a, a game every time you get out there and, and yeah. perform, and you just got to do your bit. And my, uh, you know, I'm... I'm like a, a cameo type role, so I don't. Um, I'm not like everyone else who can stay on stage and sing the whole way through and dance, which just blows me away um, at how amazing they are. So I'm. Uh, I just try and get my bit right, even though I probably uh, get it wrong every time. But um, <laughs> at least. I'm still there, hanging in, trying to get through. <laughs> I like how you draw the comparisons there, like these these musical theatre types, just you know, getting ready into their zone, doing their vocal warm ups, and you've got your deep heat on, going for it, go, big show tonight, you know, in the in the sheds before you run out there. So, Croft, maybe this is maybe this has got a boring answer, but I, I'm genuinely curious. How did you go from the footy field into getting involved into the musical theatre scene? Uh, well, by accident, pretty much. Um, no, I was I was asked to if I'd audition for a role, um, and I sort of got a bit scared about it all, yeah. and thought, oh no, especially when I knew the bosses were flying over from the UK and America to um, to audition everyone, oh, and wow. then I got a bit scared, and I made up an excuse, <laughs> uh, brought my kids into it again. Said, oh no, I got the kids, can't get away from them. <laughs> when. Deep down, we really don't, I don't like my kids. Yeah. <laughs> so I never really hang out with them. No, I absolutely love them. But, um, yeah, and then a week later they, they said, would you do an online audition? And so I said, okay. And because it's all in song, I'm like, just do it. Just give it a go. And I just knew that I've got to get into the character that they wanted me to be. And and let's be honest, if, if I had to sing as myself, um, that's that. I think that's going to be a disaster. But <laughs> for some reason, when you can try and channel a character and get yourself into the zone. And we all think that we can sing like certain people at certain stages. Yeah, um, that was my only hope. So I just had a crack. But one thing I did bring is a lot of energy and I just went for it. Um, and I'm thinking, oh, I hope no one ever sees this audition tape. For goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try and dig those um, tapes and, up, I think. <laughs> and that's, uh, yeah, I got off of the job um, two weeks later. And yeah, I nice. Kept, sorry, are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> uh, you got the right person. And they did say, uh, that one thing they did say is, oh, okay, well, uh, you're giving us something to think about. Um, it kept dropping in and out, but I, it sounded like you're in tune. So, uh, <laughs> so that was pretty much the feedback early on. Shane Crawford, footy legend, joining you this morning on Nova 100, uh, recently mixing it up, doing a bit of musical theatre. And we have heard rumours that, is it true that millsy has been helping you with some uh, theatre lessons? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's he's a star. So uh, no, I've I've known uh, Millsy for a long time, and so I'm like, mate, I need your your input here. How do I attack this? What do I do? You know, asking all those questions, all those. Uh, yeah, I've got the football terminology down, but um, the musical theatre terminology, I'm still working on. Um, you know, I, I'm still calling it half time when there's an interval. Like, <laughs> an interval. You got oranges in your mouth. So, <laughs> yeah, well, that's it. Um, and yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's it's been awesome, and he's been wonderful. He's been so good to just be able to jump on the phone or catch up for a a quick coffee and say, you know, how would you do this or what do you do here? And he came along um, early on as well, so um, he gave me notes. They say notes, not feedback, notes, and um, you can take that on board and, and try and sort of mould it into your, to your very own as well. So he's been great. 
Well, mate, it looks like you've got the right people behind you. I mean, you've got the know-how. You've already got it off raw talent. Millsy's helping. We're looking forward to you getting up on stage one day at the Tony Awards and just, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, you know what I mean? Like another another big moment in the in the Croft catalogue. Um, you can see Shane in uh, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Tickets available at josephthemusical.com.au. Thank you so much uh, for your time this morning, mate, and being our second ever interview on the show. Thanks, Croft. Hey, no worries. And Alistair Clarkson, my old coach, is coming along, so I'm looking forward to his feedback, which I'm sure is going to be pretty <laughs> honest. <laughs>